have some white paint because a lot of times... When it was confirmed that pop icon Lady Gaga would come to Oklahoma for a concert, the search began for an artist who could make a special gift for her, one that would reflect Lady Gaga's energy and aura of mystery. They were telling me they wanted to give Lady Gaga a mask for her performance when she comes to Oklahoma City. The search for a nationally recognized mask maker took concert organizers all the way to Bethany? From his Oklahoma studio, artist G. Patrick Riley has created exhibits for the likes of the John F. Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., and the Fairtree Gallery of Contemporary Craft in New York City. Patrick allowed me to try on the finished product for Lady Gaga, and for a fleeting moment, I was a pop diva. Such is the magic of masks. You can play with it as a fantasy, but, but it doesn't have to be your real life. <laughs> and I love fantasy life a whole lot. Throughout history, masks have been used in cultures around the world, not just for entertainment, but as part of religious rituals, and even for medicinal purposes. Oh, that lizard's really coming off. Like Halloween masks were first used to scare away malicious spirits. But Patrick's masks are sought after because from time to time, most of us have the longing to become someone else, just for an instant. We grow older and we go, well, I didn't get to do that or I didn't get to do this. But if you see a mask, you can start going, I can still dream. And he instills the dream in others. As a lifelong teaching artist, Patrick makes a point of telling his students that they can absolutely become big time artists from Oklahoma. It's not going to matter as an artist where you live much anymore. It's what you produce, and everybody's going to see it. Patrick says that the rich Oklahoma culture influences every aspect of his art. Tornadoes are a part of Oklahoma culture. So if you can become a tornado, you can have lots of power when you have a tornado mask on. You can make the sirens go off. <laughs> The material for most of Patrick's masks can be traced back to his childhood in Ada. Around Ada, saddles and leather and stuff like that was very much a common kind of material. So I decided I would go with a material and start working with a material that was common to Oklahoma, and that's leather. Exquisite art was also an influence. Patrick had an uncle at St. Gregory's in Shawnee, and so he spent many childhood hours hanging around the Maybe Guerra collection on campus. I was actually exposed to all of those paintings and uh, the mummy and the Egyptian stuff and all the stuff that Father Guerra collected, his shrunken heads, his skulls, his uniforms, all of these animals at a very early age. And I was always fascinated by them. Why does this have a mask on? So if you thought masks were strictly for Halloween, hopefully you now feel enlightened. And if you had been under the impression that an artist had to live in a big city to be big time, now you and Lady Gaga know better. With artist G. Patrick Riley in Bethany, I'm Shell Wagner.